Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today is our second uh, celebration of, of the fantastic people that we have on Long Island. Uh, we call it the uh, Outstanding Stories Awards. Well, it feels pretty amazing because you know what? I never really wanted to publicize it so much. I, I don't feel like I need to be rewarded in any way. I, it brings me a lot of emotion to be able to give back. There's so many desperate parents out there. And as a parent, I know when you can't do for your child, you can't afford something, it breaks your heart. And so for us to be able to give it to them, it really makes me happy. We uh, won an award for Long Island's Best Young Artist at the Heckscher Museum of Art and it's a juried exhibition for high school students who participate in our school discovery um, educational program and it's a fabulous opportunity for them to um, go through the process of having their work juried and show their work in the museum and um, the segment that um, my LI TV did was fabulous and it really is something that uh, to be able to document what these kids are doing it was it was wonderful it was the museum really benefited benefited from it we received and my team's not here we received the outstanding sporting event award for the mighty hamptons and the riverhead triathlon the mighty hamptons is kind of uh, a legend in itself but the riverhead race which is a brand new race this year was phenomenal and exceptional because it started and finished in downtown Riverhead, which is just a really great, awesome coming back there, right away town with great restaurants. So that was that's what made that race special, the town of Riverhead. We received an award for, I believe, best local band, best local band on Long Island. And we are uh, walking sideways. We play original rock music. I don't know, I think we bring out a certain emotion in our songs. Our lyrics definitely connect with people. Um, we write about all kinds of different things, modern day issues, um, anything heartfelt and soulful. Um, but we give it an upbeat kind of a message and we kind of make it a positive spin on even the most dark issues, which I think people can connect to a little bit. The award was for uh, Best Professional Theater Production on Long Island and it was for the production of Cats. Well, Cats was in Bellport. Uh, it was our first show of the summer season. Uh, you know, we had a great cast. We had uh, Ken Page, Jessica Hendy, who both were in the professional production. We had a great company, and one of the best things about the show, um, from my perspective, is that we had a lot of families come, and the show has been around for so long, and it's so popular, you would have parents call up to get tickets. They would say, oh, you know, I'm taking my five-year-old. We watched the video together. They come and see the show together. So it's really something nice for the family to do. We received our reward for outstanding stories for animal sheltering and how to take care of animals in a shelter setting. What makes us stand out the most is our behavior program. We actually get to travel around the country to show other animal shelters what we do. And what we do is we take our main popula population of animals, which a lot of people like to call best bang for the buck. And we put, doesn't matter if it's anywhere from a chihuahua to a pit bull type dog to a lab, we let them all play, we let them all socialize. And it's about just letting dogs be dogs and not really get up on them about a breed. We received an award from the LITV for the most outstanding promotion or series. There's never been an island-wide arts festival on Long Island. There are a lot of arts organizations and we just felt that need to bring arts and culture to our communities and to celebrate it. So we put together a festival in October. It's, October is actually the National Arts and Humanities Month as well. And so we thought October would be a great time to do it. We got the award for the best family event of the year for our Riverhead Cardboard Boat Race, which is promoted by the Riverhead Bid. It brings families and the community together on a project. I think it's best stated by a woman that approached me and said, my ch two children fight like cats and dogs. Ever since they started to build a boat for the cardboard boat race, they've been like two peas in the pot for the last three months. We received the award for outstanding cultural religious event for our Holocaust survivor talking about issues of bullying. The Holocaust Memorial Intolerance Center of Nassau County is a hidden gem in which we have a contemporary museum and are fortunate to have survivors and liberators who are the fabric of the stories that we tell. And through the generosity of the survivors and liberators, they are actually out front 
in our education programs and services, telling their stories and the relevance to today in terms of issues of prejudice, discrimination, and bigotry. We received the Sachem School District Hi Stephen Covey Seven Habits of Highly Effective People Award. It's embracing Stephen Covey's habits, which are some timeless principles which help students, adults, parents be as effective as possible, putting first things first, setting priorities, respecting others. I received the award for Travel Destination Series for um, Bed and Breakfast. Uh, Ruby's Cove is a great old Victorian bed and breakfast right next to a brewery a block away from downtown in Greenport, which is a magical little seaport town at the end of Long Island. We received the award for raising funds for um, two shelters on Long Island. Uh, we're looking forward to having the black tie where the owners have a chance to dress up and the dogs dress up. And we have dancing and um, live music and hopefully we'll be as successful and more successful this year. We received this award because of the man standing next to us and his generosity. Um, we had, everybody knows, remembers Hurricane Sandy, and we had many people in Oceanside that were out of their homes. It was a Tuesday before Thanksgiving, and people were just acting as if it was Thanksgiving Day. And they just bonded and were just thrilled and so appreciative of these people coming all the way from across the island, from the North Shore, as far north as you could go, to almost as far south as you can go. And it was just wonderful, and we so appreciate it. And when we saw the film, we just relived it, and we were sorry we hadn't eaten even more that day, because <laughs> the food looked so fabulous. <laughs>